President Ekufuado has again proposed that the University of Business and Integrated Studies at WA in the Upper West region, which is to be made autonomous, be named after Chief S.D. Dombo for his contributions to the evolution of democracy and development in Ghana. Chief Dombo, one of the founding fathers of the Dankwa Buzia Dombo tradition, is credited for establishing rural clinics throughout the country. Speaking in Accra at the launch of the SD Dombo Foundation for Leadership and Governance, President Ekufuadu paid glowing tribute to the late statesman and encouraged Ghanaians to emulate his selfless personality. Don Dombo was a teacher, politician, leader, and a chief in the then Northern Territory of the Gold Coast, known today as the Upper West Region. As during now, he was the first educated traditional ruler in the region. Chief Dombo was also one of the founders of the Northern People's Party, which later merged the United Party, UP, and came under the banner of the Progress Party, PP. In the Second Republic, Chief Dombo was a member of parliament for the then Lambuzia General Park constituency in the Upper West Region, having won the seat on the ticket of the Progress Party led by Dr. Kofi Abri Fabuzia. Chief Dombo was appointed Minister for the Interior and later Minister for Health by Prime Minister Buzia. As a health minister, Chief Dombo ensured the setting up of rural clinics throughout the country to bring health care closer to the doorsteps of the people. Chief Dombo retired from active politics after his release from custody following the overthrow of the PP government in 1972 through a coup d'etat led by General I.K. Champon. Chief Dombo became an elder statesman and a mentor to the younger generation, among whom were John Ajakun Kufo and the late Alaji Roland Isi Valassan. Chief Dombo helped form the successor parties including the Popular France Party, PFP, from 1979 to 1981. Former President John Ejikun Kufo, who was the chairman of the occasion, acknowledged the contributions of the late S.D. Dombo. The national organizer of the NPP, Mr. Samir Uku, called on all members to support the foundation. Chief Dombo was also seen as an embodiment of incorrigibility to the extent that when Nkrumah was so interested in getting his blessings as the leader of the opposition in order to have a smooth sailing in turning Ghana into a one-party state, Despite all the lucrative inducements he was offered by Nkrumah, including promises of high ministerial appointment, Chief Dombo refused to compromise his principles. Chief Dombo thereby ensured that multi-party democracy in the country under Nkrumah lasted a while longer than would otherwise have been the case. Chief Dombo played his part in ensuring that the ideals of multi-party democracy remain ingrained and cherished in the consciousness of the Ghanaian people. The former of the late Chief Dumbo appealed for something to be done in honor of the late politician. Let today convict, inform, we are waking sleeping consciences and signify a decisive change in the fortune of the man Dumbo. Dumbo may be dead and gone, but he is very much alive and present with us today through the enduring political legacy. He has bequeathed us, and through his children, grand and great-grandchildren. President Kufuadu described the late S.D. Dumbo as a selfless politician whose contribution to the politics of Ghana will forever be remembered. When Dr. Buzia fled the country to avoid an arrest under the dreaded Preventive Detention Act, Dumbo stepped in to assume the mantle of leadership of the opposition until he himself was arrested and detained under the infamous PDA. No monument in his memory, no matter how imposing, can compensate for the sacrifices he made to ensure that we are where we are today. I think it is appropriate in the circumstances that the new impending autonomous university in WA, the University of Business and Integrated Development Studies, be named after this man. After this man who played such a prominent role in mobilizing the masses of the northern sector of our country to join the fight for national freedom and independence. A man whose life became synonymous 
with sacrifice and selfless. The chief SD Dumbo Foundation for Development and Leadership Studies is to mobilize resources for community development and appreciative studies in Africa.